in this video i'm going to be giving you guys a breakdown of a week in my life as a final year medical student i am in my final year as a graduate entry medical student here in the uk i am currently doing surgery which i have really really been enjoying because i am quite interested in doing surgery and yeah i've been able to see some incredible stuff i've scrubbed in loads of times and it has been really enjoyable monday was a fantastic day because it was a bank holiday which meant that we didn't have to go in so i decided to go to the gym in the morning because looking after myself and spending time on things that are important to me is a priority and then i spent most of the day like stressing about my upcoming final exams and like planning what I had to do and what I had to cover for the UK MLA. In the evening, I went for a really nice long walk with a friend. It was so nice to catch up with her. And then I came home and I did some pass med. At the moment, I am trying to get through at least 50 pass med questions a day, which takes me quite a while to do, to be honest, because every time that I get a question wrong, I go back and I review the question and I like try and understand what i got wrong so yeah that was basically my one day off this week on tuesday i also went to the gym in the morning now i tend to go super early in the morning often before like my lectures or before i have to be at the hospital just because i feel completely drained and exhausted towards the end of the day kind of like exercising and getting that out and done and just out of the way early if I can and then I went into the hospital where I had a lecture or some teaching on the deteriorating patient that was only like an hour teaching session and then from 11 to 12 we had lunch from 12 to 12 30 I had a mid block review with my consultant and this is basically where you have a conversation to see how things are going if you're getting your sign-offs done and if you're enjoying it or if you're having any problems after that i had a little bit of a break so i went to the library and i did my past med questions and then at 2 30 ish maybe 2 40 i had what's called a comet so at my specific hospital they do these like really amazing teaching sessions which are scenario based they're kind of like a simulation and you follow a patient journey so you start off by taking a history and talking through an exam or sometimes having to do the exam on a mannequin or on a fake patient. And then you go into like another room or like another cubicle and then you talk through what investigations you would do, how you would manage the patient. And then they'd ask us questions about that particular condition or things like the pathophysiology of the disease or how a certain drug works. So that all took maybe an hour to an hour and a half. So I got home around 4 p.m. on Tuesday. I made myself a really nice meal. And then that evening I had quite a lot of work to do. So I spent most of my evening pretty much from like five till nine-ish just on work calls. Wednesday I had more teaching and on Wednesday I actually skipped the gym because I was feeling pretty tired. So I went into the hospital for 9 a.m. And from 9 till half 11, I had teaching on vascular studies. This was really cool because we actually got to practice like using the uh, Doppler ultrasound to find peripheral pulses and how you would measure ABPI. We had a little bit of a break following that teaching session. And then at 12.30, we had dermatology teaching, which was kind of random because I don't know why we had dermatology teaching during our surgical block. But anyway, it was useful too. That lasted about an hour and then following that I got some food and then I went to theatres. I wasn't actually scheduled to be on theatres that day but the beauty of being a student is that you can just show up to wards or you can go to clinics or you can speak to consultants or speak to registrars and just ask to get involved. So I thought I would see what elective procedures were happening and I actually got to scrub into an incisional hernia repair which was amazing. I loved it. It was so much fun. I think I left maybe like 4 or 5 p.m. So then I went home, did some more pass med questions and then did a bit more work too. On Thursday morning, I was back at the hospital nice and early for 8 a.m. because I was scheduled to be on SAU, which is the surgical assessment unit. This basically meant that I was shadowing one of the registrars and we were clerking patients and speaking to patients who had come in from A&E. 
being on SAU was actually really fun and gave me loads of opportunities to take histories, to do examinations and to practice some of my clinical skills like taking bloods or inserting cannulas. I left SAU around midday to get some lunch and then at one or half past one I had another comet. This time the patient or the scenario that we had was a breast lump so we had to do the history, the exam, the investigation, management, etc. And again, super useful. I really enjoyed it. I went home on Thursday after the breast comet and I went to the gym in the afternoon, which is not something that I typically do, but I was just itching to get some movement in and to do some sort of exercise. So went and did that and then came home to do some more work until maybe 9 or 10 p.m. Friday was a little bit different. So every two weeks at my university, we have what's called an academic day. This is where you go in and you have CBL and teaching pretty much the entire day. On this Friday, we had a CBL case in the morning and then we had ophthalmology teaching. In the afternoon, we had a global health ethics lecture followed by some group work activities in the afternoon. I went home after academic day on Friday and I took the afternoon off because I was exhausted from the week so I actually just put the TV on and watched a movie. On Saturday, again, I went to the gym in the morning and then I had some work. And then in the evening, I went for dinner with a friend, which was really, really nice. It's so important that you stay in touch and you still keep in contact with the people around you. And it is something that you can do, but you just have to kind of like schedule it in and prioritize those things. Sunday is always my rest day. It is something that I have been doing since year one or since I can remember. I take a day to just clean my house <laughs> and just reset to not really touch anything medicine related. And yeah, to just reset, relax, maybe go for a nice walk or go for a nice meal somewhere, uh, see my family or see some friends. And that is exactly what I did on this day. So that was a week in my life as a final year medical student, currently on surgery. And I hope it's encouraged you to know that actually there is so much that you can do while being a medical student. If you enjoyed hearing about my life and if you want to see more about what life is like as a medical student or if you have any questions or comments, then please leave that in the comments below. And also, if you are a prospective medical student and you want to get to this point, then I would highly recommend that you check out FutureDoc because we help you get into medical school and teach you the tools that you need that will serve you so well, even through your application and beyond throughout medical school too. So check out FutureDoc if you're interested in having some support with that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.